Okay, so in this video I'm going to talk about how to fix the sound these uh, Bayer Dynamics DT770 Pros have out of the box because I think the highs are very piercing the bass is a bit overdone and uh, there are some frequencies we just uh, <laughs> fade away for some reason to see what I mean let's take a look here there is a graph you can uh, you know search it on the web it's called the frequency response graph and e there are many graphs actually on the internet they all differ a little bit because I suppose the um, the testing method is a bit different but I found these to be the most accurate I will uh, leave a link in the description for this one so what we can see here this is like the the frequency this is how much more decibels uh, each frequency has so first here's a bump at 60 Hertz which is a bit overdone here is a big big uh, uh, you know drop at 200 220 another huge drop at 300 and uh, 3500 and also an enormous peak at six and a half thousand and so on. so <clears throat> what the hell is this <laughs> this is like um, I just don't even have the right word for it I have no idea what the engineers had in mind when they designed this uh, frequency response it's just bad especially this part this is like the this will pierce your 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 hearing here because uh, the tinnitus you know the ringing of the ear is specifically at this frequency so it's like super annoying super annoying and also a lot of the vocals are or or they you know part of the bass is here so you you will be like okay let's crank the volume up because I can't hear this part and the, you the, then just BAM just just <laughs> get hearing loss from from this fucking peak it just it blows my mind okay so how do you fix this so there is this thing called uh, equalizer you maybe have seen this this is like uh, an audio pult when where you can you know push pull these buttons and they will adjust the volume so you have the same in software which is called uh, equalizer APO I will give uh, give a link in the description where you can download this you also download the piece extension just for you know uh, have this uh, window it easier it is very simple to use you won't have a problem with this so what we did here or what I did here I created this graph which adjusts the frequency response so as you can see I said at 60 Hertz it's a bit overdone a minus one and a half here at 20 Hertz okay I, I went with a little boost of two at uh, what is it at 100 Hertz yeah we are at zero so we are not changing it here at 200 where the big drop was I'm giving it three you have to give it three then at 400 it's zero again and we are not changing it up until um, let's see I think it was yeah 400 1800 so until 1800 we are not changing the sound at 2300 there is a small it's a bit overdone so I'm giving a minus one there see one minus one 
three and a half thousand you you have a big drop so i'm giving that six six that's a lot that's that's a, a lot okay then at th th four four thousand three hundred and five we are going back to near zero you know we don't want to mess much with these frequencies and th then at six and a half or six four hundred you know it doesn't matter if it's six five six three you can you know try around different things but six minus six decibels is like i think that's that's the best uh, setting here then uh, you can add a little bit at eight thousand to make this sound more interesting and uh, take it back at eleven and a half so i've tried many 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 settings i've like I was playing around like for three days straight, just trying different settings, you know, trying to match the graph to the Harman curve. Where is it? You know, making this Excel and, and shit. And uh, the point is that uh, in the end, I found these settings good because it's it eliminates the hissing and uh, fixes all, all the other problems and at the same time it doesn't uh, kill completely the character of the headphone and also how I would describe this now the sound of this headphone now after this fix applied it's exciting you know what I mean is that there are a lot of detail, these are very capable headphones, don't get me wrong. Even though the, you know, the original frequency response is, I don't think it's acceptable, but after you fix it, the resolution is great. You will hear every instrument in, in these, every single one. And uh, you still keep a nice bass the bass is, is 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 really amazing on these headphones it's the best bass i have ever heard in basically any sound system i don't have a subwoofer or, or anything but this the sub bass and the bass is just phenomenal with this the mid range is yeah it's okay i suppose it's okay and the highs are no longer bad after this fix. So if you had this problem, I can highly recommend you trying this. Uh, you can import these settings. Here is the import button. And you just make a txt file, copy the, the settings from the description. I will leave it there, import it. Make sure everything is where it needs to be. Give a preamp setting which equals to the biggest bump. So, you know, there is no distortion. Make sure you click this button so it, it, it stays green. EQ, okay? So that's important. And uh, basically, after that, you are set. After that, you will have a headphone which sounds amazing, exciting to listen to not fatiguing, extremely good resolution. So what else can I say? Yeah, just try it for yourself. Okay, see you.